different. Kel's going to work, and I'm uh, not. Staying at home. <laughs> Have a great day, dude. Fuck all. Yeah, will. I'm going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give us a yell if you need me to bring something. See ya. Yeah. Yeah, Kel starting her first day with the um, caravan park. And so she's just doing training or whatever for the first week or so. Um, I'm still doing uh, BHP inductions. They just sent me a couple more I've got to do. So yeah, I'll finish, um, I'll finish that this morning. Oh, look at that, congratulations. I just let it keep playing and it, um, it's done. <laughs> I'll go pick up my uniforms and that from uh, my workplace. Uh, fixed door handle. Well, sort of, it's just hanging in there. Um, a heap of bits broke off um, from the handle. It's got like a spline that goes into another piece that uh, when you crank it, um, opens the three points here and down there. And it is just hanging in there. So I put a little retic thing, instead of pulling the handle shut, I've got it. Um, yeah, so that's express post on its way, so hopefully that makes it. Well, if that breaks, yeah, you kind of up shit creek a little bit. Especially in a place like this where you kind of got to lock all your gear up most of the time. Uh, but yeah, just got a few jobs to do. Uh, my sign rocked up for uh, my knife sharpening side hustle thing I do. And I'll start advertising as well in the um, local Facebook pages or whatever. And, and that's how I usually get a bit of business where I go. Um, is just flicking onto those Facebook pages. Um, doesn't take long to almost rack up too much business. And then next thing you know, you're bloody sharpening knives all night. Just to satisfy everyone. So anyway, just gonna finish off these inductions and do a few jobs this morning uh, and see how I go. Well, hopefully Kel has a good first day and uh, this works out pretty good. I start next week, this time next week, so I've got a, a whole week until I have to start work. We started this journey with $50,000 in our um, bank and we're down to uh, between 25 and 20. We've got a few things we want to fix on and modify on the van and on the car and we've just started prioritizing a list of needs and wants and how much they're going to cost us and you know bottlenecks that we um that we have with the van and the setup that we uh just even to the little things that we've got to fix i've ordered some new struts for the bed because since we've put the new mattress on it's just a little bit heavier than what it used to be i've got an outside shade cloth thing on the side there to go on that uh, we've got a one of the major things we're going to buy is another second 120 amp hour lithium that um that goes underneath here. Uh, so that'll give us 240 amp hours in the caravan, uh, which would be good. And the other thing we're finding is we've got a fold out panel um, that is literally just only just over a year old and it's deteriorating pretty quick. And yeah, so I'm going to go to uh, uh, an off-road living, which is a West Australian family-owned company. Um, I think they call it AllSpark. Um, I think they're 140 or 160 watt fold-out panel, and do that because the fold-out panel works great. Like even in a situation like this, uh, we're plugged into 240, but just for mainly the computer side of things. The rest of our van is still running off solar. Uh, I also want to upgrade the rear leaf springs in the D-Max. I've got 250 constant Dobinsons in there now, um, and I want to upgrade that to 450 because we virtually uh, have always got a fair bit of weight in the back, and we're all with the tinny on and the caravan, we're bang right on a limit of 3.1 ton. Time we've been traveling already, and the setup we've got, I'm pretty sure the 450s will be a way better um, investment. And also the good old um, laptop upgrade. Um, this is how we edit, uh, doing the inductions. 
um, been a bit of a pain in the ass. So I've got a few mates that are IT and we're looking at little options at the moment which might cost upwards of a couple of grand to build like a little mini PC uh, that will obviously have to be run off the inverter all the time. But when we do edit, um, we run this big screen here off the inverter anyway. So, and they don't really use that much power, so it's not, not too much of a drama. And if we've got the 240 amp hours instead of the 120, we'll be in a lot better situation. Um, sometimes we've been trying to edit uh, through the middle of the day, and when we're just fully off grid and not in a caravan park, with a bit of luxury like we are now, so we um, have to really time the time we edit sort of thing you have to um, time it all so you have to look at the, how much power you got and how much solar you got coming in for the day and you have to look at the weather just to edit so uh, it's one thing that we've come to sort of learn and that's part of the bottleneck of having that one 120 amp hour battery uh, the PC upgrade is almost a necessity um, just to make everything a little bit easier and smoother all in all, uh, majority of the van has held up pretty good, but yeah, that's the update. It's uh, so it's Kel's first day. We're down to twenty-two grand, I think. Um, I start next week. We've got some things to do. Do some fishing before that, and um, knuckle down and start work. It'll be interesting to watch this video at the end of September and see how well we did. Yeah, well this is a uh, Finnegan Island uh, boat ramp area. As you can see, it's um, a lovely day in the Pilbara, raining. But yeah, I was hoping to go fishing today and tomorrow, but um, if this weather stays, I'll can it, I reckon. And might have to plan it in for another day. Yeah, go watch a movie for the Arvo. Rain. That's all that happened in the last um, 24 hours. It literally has not stopped since um, maybe yesterday morning sometime. But yeah, everything's wet. Now my job today is putting the new door handle on. Yeah, I've chucked that on this morning. Hopefully it all works. It's a bit of a jigsaw to get on. A bit of a pain in the ass, but should be right. Oh, sweet. It's all gonna work. Let's see if we find out. Nice. Oh uh, well, first day at work. Uh, yeah. I've got to meet some people at the gate and uh, don't really have a clue where I'm going. But yeah, it should be interesting. See how we go. Yesterday I finished my first uh, shutdown out um, here in Port Hedland. Um, yeah, it only went for seven days, which is pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's good to get uh, some money coming back into the uh, account. And um, Kel's uh, just went to work as well. She's opening the caravan park this morning. Yeah, another job done. Just changed over the um, gas struts in the bed. Oh yeah, perfect. Nice. That's one job done. Uh, I gotta tweak the ropes a little bit. Tighten them up, but um yeah, we'll see how it goes. Might not use it that much, other than um, when we're sort of in a bit more of a permanent position like here. 
Yeah, today is our first day we've had off um, together. Kel's just in doing some dishes. I've uh, got the next couple of days off, so just going to get some jobs done, uh, bits and pieces, uh, going to town. Got some knives to sharpen for a, um, a customer. And um, yeah, and then tomorrow might go for a fish. I'll put the tinny together this afternoon. Get everything ready, um, fill up the fuel tank, chuck some oil in it and all that sort of stuff, um, get some rods together and yeah, just go for a burn up and down the creek out near the harbour here and just get a lay of the land. I gotta check out what the tides are doing and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's what's happening in the next couple of days. A uh, few jobs and a um, bit of relaxing and cook some meat sharpen knives and go for a fish take the boat out which will be good which will be sweet uh, we've got some um, beef ribs they are massive look at that okay, thing good. that is huge look at that I'm gonna attempt to put them on the in the basket on the rotisserie, and I've got some lump char still left over from our trip up the way up here, and um, I'm gonna try and do them on that. Uh, so you're just gonna use some old pepper, salt, not too much salt, and a bit of this. Um, Texas beef barbecue rub. I'll um, chuck a little bit of that on and um, get the fire going out there and get them rotating. Well, the, um, the ribs are pretty much done, which is good. Just check the uh, temp then, about 70 degrees or so, which is on the medium to well side, but um, uh, should be pretty good, I reckon. Not too fast. Kel's just whacking together a bit of a coleslaw. Cheats coleslaw. Doesn't matter. I don't need the player. <laughs> And some cheese. Secret ingredient. Is the kiwi or the cheese? The cheese. Oh. Yeah, if you want a good uh, 
Meat thermometer for the van. One of these little ink bird jobbers. I just got it off eBay. Um, let's flick it out. Like that, it turns on. And uh, you can recharge it at the end here. Just um, through USB. Here's recharge it in there. Good last for ages. Ribs are ready. There. Look at that. Two for you. <laughs> Look how big they are.